Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good week in the stock market. It is April 14th. We're going to recap some price action today, some crazy runners, uh, ZXAI, wild, 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 wild. Um, yeah, sub up, like up, comment down. Happy Money sticks around. Follow us on Twitter at Happy Money YT as well as Discord. Link for those are in the description. Yes, got a couple runners. We mentioned the last couple days this week. Um, Spy this morning liked liked the news on the banks. Had a bit of a rippy rip, but really looked like a blow off the top. Uh, hit right at that 415 resistance and then just sold off. I don't think this was on even specific news. A couple little news things came out, but I'm not sure if it was on that or not. Sold off most of the day and then we'll double bottom here and then it retraced a VWAP and now we're just kind of chopping into close. Um, to close out the week, it's, it's looking like we might be actually confirming a double top up here. Uh, the breakout was not enough. Not enough. So we'll see. Next week our earnings. See how that placings out. This is an inside bar, which could be considered bearish um, on the SPY daily, daily chart there. So we shall see. Uh, CXAI. Yes, the AI tickers are running and continue to run um so wild we talked about this one yesterday it ran 500 percent uh intraday and then closed rallied maybe like 15 percent after hours right here and then end of after hours right here and then pre-market popped up big 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 bigly 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 uh almost 800 percent from Four o'clock when pre-market opens, four a.m. to five twenty-five. So just over an hour, and this thing ran almost eight hundred percent. Crazy. Uh, then came way back down, consolidated, and basically consolidated today. But this consolidation is still huge ranges. Um, I actually traded it today. <sighs> I got in here. And I lost patience, not patience, but I thought it was breaking, breaking the low, so I popped out. But I was getting in here for a retest to VWAP, and sure enough, it did just that. Oh well, it wasn't big. I just wanted to get some exposure on this super hypey one because then it's fun to say I traded it, and then I don't feel FOMO. I'm like, oh yeah, I made money on it. We, uh, but even just this move right here, 25% from just basically consolidating, so kind of crazy. Um. We'll see. I mean, this these could still have another couple days in them next week. Um, I'm not getting exposure right now, but mm, you could see a gap up on Monday. But it's maybe one of those things where you set your alarm for 4 a.m. and uh, try and trade it pre-market because something like this could happen again. Um, I'm not messing with it at this point, but uh, it is kind of interesting. Express had to move up here. They acquired... Bonobus or some brand from Walmart, which doesn't seem bullish to me, but it is rallying on it. What is it called? It's uh Bonobus. Bonobus, I don't even know how to say it. Um, this is in the basket. Didn't cause any movement today on the, the basket though. It's up 30%. Jimmy today, very flat. More just IV getting sucked out of this thing. It's crazy. Uh, with the market potentially topping though, I'm not sure if it's gonna hold up. The levels but so far it is holding up very nicely um with this iv so next week's monthly 43 percent iv again never seen it that low uh they should have earnings coming um next month this month next month yeah i think next month their earnings uh bby new all-time lows guys congratulations we did it all-time lows on bed bath and beyond today Another flush through hit 23 cents. Um, not really much to say about this. Sue Gove had a had an interview. Kind of nothing to talk about with that. Uh, she kind of was asked about an acquisition and she hesitated and then laughed and said no rumors that she's heard of. So she didn't say no acquisitions, but she said I haven't heard of any rumors. So yeah, you could get a little hypey on that, but um, yes, yeah, overall wasn't a very impressive interview. Um, yeah, so the, the, the AI stocks are, GFAI is not, or G, CXAI is not the only one. We've got GFAI, lots of different ones. 
uh, SMX, which we talked about in yesterday's video, I think. Two days ago. Good, it's rallying back up. Uh, this thing actually went kind of crazy. So I picked up shares two days ago on it. This one's trying to fight illegal naked shorts like GNS, uh, Hellbiz, all those. Uh, as well as the charts bullish looking at the rounding bottom and all sorts of good stuff. So I bought it in what this right here, 12, two days ago, somewhere around here. Sold it here and bought back in yesterday here on this break of 170. So yeah, bought in there and then averaged in here at that VWAP test, which I went over yesterday. After hours, this thing went up like 60 something percent. So I didn't catch that top. 63%. It did that at 6 a.m. So that's when that's when uh, AI was rallying too. Kind of kind of interesting. Um, came back down to open. Spy's moving up here. We got about 20 minutes. A little break of you up on spy there. Uh, came back down to 21 at open and then kind of moved back up. This thing's very liquid and thinly traded, so it's sketchy. And I kind of knew that. I didn't have extended hours by the time we got to here. Had a big rally up. Sold off some, but consolidated nice, and then really was starting to get a ton of volume and starting to go crazy, but I wasn't looking at extended hours, so uh, my next level up on it, see, this is all I was seeing. The next level up on it was not 340. I'm like, there's no man land. 4760 is where I was looking at. So um, there's like some little zones back here from before, but really I, I figured at least this would be a weird spot. But I think what it was was just sellers taking or buyers taking profit and kind of front running this resistance of 347, 370. So they came up a little short and started selling. It just triggered a massive sell off and stop losses. Uh, it doesn't look very big, but this is a huge move actually because this thing's so liquid. Um, actually, Tree in chat on live stream today, he's the one that started it. <laughs> and I was, it was funny because I was like just saying, like, I think I might. Uh, actually close this position coming into the weekend. Uh, you know, Friday, people could be taking profits. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll have a share offering over the weekend. You know, anything like that. So it was right about here and it was starting to rip. And I'm like, I was thinking about it, I'm like, all right, I should probably scale. And basically as I was considering it, and I have these shares on my TD account, which is, I'm very slow on. It just started wicking and just candle way down here. I'm like, what the heck? And that's literally right when people on chat were saying, oh, I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> it's like, okay. Then this happened like oh so i figured maybe a bounce back up this is just illiquid and a couple stop losses but no the thing just kept going down and then consolidated down here I'm like oh but this move is huge i mean this gave i gave up like 1500 dollars right here it was 38 percent move from top to bottom so i'm like uh whatever i'm a little bit green on it right now um so we'll see i'm in a longer time frame like on the daily it still looks nice it's just it would have been nice to exit there and not even think about it over the weekend um so yeah we'll see uh still have all momentums there and just see what kind of support it builds next week for maybe some more ups but uh yeah this was a this fun little runner today um i even know we did i did quite a bit of trading let's see what we have here yeah a lot of filled I actually bought by today so bought it at the low uh might sell it monday if there's a little pop-up pre-market and I just kind of want to exposure for over the weekend if there's something, some news. Um, my shorts on Tesla I closed for a small profit. Uh, here's my CXAI buy that I closed out of for a small loss because I didn't wait long enough. But that 23% moved view up. Uh, MCRB. Oh, so I bought some uh, pharmaceutical stocks. Shout out Zip Trader, not Zip Trader, uh, Trading Fraternity. The Padufa is coming up, end of the month. So I picked up a couple of those for exposure. Could go either way on them. Could drop, could drop a bunch. Could go up a bunch. We'll see. I got MCRB and IONS shares of both, about a thousand dollars worth. Uh, Turka. I closed the Turka position. I didn't like it. Took a small loss in that one. Um, GTII also went up today. This is one we called out last week. I guess it's it's only up one eight. It was up like close to eight percent today. No, it's up four percent today. So this thing still looks nice. It's in this in this channel in this range. So hoping it comes all the way back up there. Um, yeah, there's our SMX. So back up a little bit on it today, I guess. I could close it before close. We will see. Maybe I will. Um, that gas had a bounce, thank goodness. So up a thousand on those contracts. Still down on my oil short. Uh, and then on the options account. So I actually picked up some BY calls also. 
Um, I got uh, May 50 cent calls. So I've got 62 of them. Uh, I'm up a little bit on them. Again, this I'll probably sell these on Monday if there's not news over the weekend. Hopefully for little profit or break even. Picked up a NVIDIA put debit spread, 260, 265. Um, someone mentioned it on, on uh, stream, said little head and shoulders. I'm like, yeah, you know what? It does look like head and shoulders, head, shoulder, shoulder. Bearish MACD, right under the nine. And me with the market thinking it's maybe topping. It makes sense to get downside exposure for potentially NVIDIA. That being said, the market's squeezing right now. 345, about 50 minutes to close. We'll see. Elon Musk is talking about having a chat GPT rival or something. So maybe there's some catalyst with uh, NVIDIA and their chips. I don't know. But yeah, I gotta, gotta put debit spread on that. So it's a very safe one. So I put in a little bit more. I got two of them. Uh, let's see where it's at now. Yeah, max profit's 42% probability on here. So just needed to close below 260. And I have until um have a month or to close below 260 so quite safe if i just barely have the momentum direction right it should be below 260 by then um i don't think there's any other trades i did today let's see oh corsair i closed out that put debit spread slightly profitable close out of my calls this morning on gme actually made money on them there's the video puts put debit spread opened and the bbby calls i opened uh yeah that's what i got Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you on Discord or maybe on Square. Or not Square, but um, Twitter Spaces. Square Spaces. Uh, Twitter Spaces. Follow us on there and have a good weekend. See you. Peace out.